Hello. If you are seeing this video, then that means that you have come to my Facebook page called The Value of Quietude. And um, I've been thinking about what to do for next year, and I thought it might be about time to start um, teaching a little bit about what I found about The Value of Quiet. So um, before doing that, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Deb. I live in southeastern Iowa and I've been married 42 years, have two daughters, seven grandchildren, and uh, a newly retired husband who is working on a nonprofit now full time that he's been the executive director of for about 12 years. So now he gets to do what he really wants to do. That gives me time to do what I really want to do. And that is hopefully be able to bring some of you along and show you how to make your life a little easier to deal with. Um, life is always going to throw you a curveball and there are ways that you can handle it and you can, um, you can do okay during that. So um, hopefully these little, these 10 little sessions will be helpful to you. So, um, on YouTube, I have just a handful of what I call quietude videos, and they are photographs that I have taken um, around my home and around the state of Iowa, and they're in little films, and they just have quiet music with them. The only words that they say are that the world we live in is not a quiet place, and it will not give you a quiet place to be, and that you have to find that place for yourself. Um, so hopefully those videos will help a little bit and I'll be sharing some of those here. That's part of the process. Um, those are the only words on my videos. The rest is totally quiet. Um, my hope is that you would find a place for your body and your soul and your spirit to take a rest. Uh, many people suffer from a range of issues. They suffer from eating disorders and depression and sleep disorders and addictions in an astounding variety of manifestations and in many other ways. And there's just too many ways to count. So many suffer from hearing so many voices that they can't tell one from another. The noise in their minds, or what I call the soundtrack of their lives, grows loud, louder, and then deafening. And then being quiet seems to be an impossibility. So some may have heard that noise for so long that in self-defense, they have flipped that switch to the off position and they hear nothing at all. So still others fall somewhere in between. And one day they may hear a cacophony of noise in their mind, annihilating any chance to hear common sense or truth. On another day, the fog may be so dense that no sound at all can come through. So both are equally as devastating. Both cause us to stop dead in our tracks. Either one breaks down the lines of communication and we need to be with ourselves constructively. So my goal in the beginning here of 2019 is to help you decide for yourself where you are and how to make a quality decision to begin to change that. If you are interested in this process, then keep coming here. Feel free to invite friends, um, people that you think would really do well with this, or watch the whole thing and then decide if you want to invite someone. Um, um, the goal is about one a week. We might go for two. It just depends on how things go. It's not carved in stone. It will be an adventure. It will be a private um, Facebook page so we can comment. We can talk back and forth and not have other people getting in our business. So it'll be a safe place. So I would like to have you um, join me here next week. And for session number one, and the name of that session is The Noise That Lies. So, I hope that um, 
this has been explanatory to you and I hope that it's something that interests you and I hope to see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now.